Hey guys, welcome back for another video. It's tree day today. So I've got a, I'll show you here in a minute, but back here in the timber, I've got a big 100 plus year old oak tree that went down last fall. And I've been putting this off, so I made sure to wait till it's nice and hot. <clears throat> it's supposed to be 100 degrees today. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a head start on this this morning. Um, got the saws ready to go, got the tractor ready to go with the grapple on. Uh, we're going to start, I'm just going to pretty much take the 440 and the 600 down and this is going to be a multi-day project. Once I get to the big the big uh, trunk of the tree, I'll bring the big 680, but um, I'll show you here in a second. It's a big one and it's going to be a whittling process since it's so dang hot. I'm probably just going to plan to work. Uh, it's it's 8 o'clock in the morning and it's already hot out and it's, and it's pretty humid. So I'm going to work a couple hours probably this morning and then, you know, as I as I have time, I'll whittle away on this thing, but I'll I'll show you the progress that we make. It's going to make a bunch of firewood and when this tree went down it uh, kind of flattened a, a, a big area where there were some other trees down there. So I kind of have an idea. This is actually right by one of my uh, tree stands, a, a, a good tree stand. Um, so it's blocking a trail now so I got to get it cut out of the way of the deer trail. But I think I may actually turn this area into a, uh, a food plot since the tree, you know, kind of wiped the area out anyway. I'm going to take advantage of it. So uh, let's jump on the tractor. Let's head down and take a look at the project. There's the big oak. So it was growing right on the bank of our, not a creek, it's just a ravine basically. And that wind took it and didn't have much of a root structure. Knocked it right down. So you can see it just wiped out, took out a whole bunch of small trees here, just crushed them. They're still green, but they're not going to be good anymore. Um, and it's real limmy. It's got a lot of firewood on it. It was probably uh Oh, it was probably an 80 or 100 foot oak tree, I bet. Good sized tree. So, this thing needs to come out. I am, uh, let's see. Actually, it comes right through here. You can't, this is, these are actually tractor tracks here, but there's normally a deer trail that comes right through here. And I need to take care of that. I don't know if you can see up there on that tree, but I've got a tree stand up there. And the deer love to come through here in the fall. So gotta make sure to keep them happy. And down here, there's an area that I've cleared out because I took I took a bunch of dirt out of here for landscaping. So what I think I'm gonna do is I might till this up down here and then kind of come through here. And there's enough open area that I think I can get a nice little food plot growing in here one of those shady mix food plots. And uh, I used to have a food plot over there across the ravine too that I haven't done anything with in several years. But now that I'm hunting up here closer to the house, if I put a plot in here, I'm gonna put a plot in over there too. You can see that one actually gets a little bit of daylight so it should grow really well. But anyway, that's another, that's a month or two down the road. I gotta get this bad boy out of here. So the plan of attack is, I'm just gonna start starting up high um, you gotta be kind of careful with this one. There's a lot of, there's a lot of weight hanging pretty high. There's obviously a lot of tension down here. We hit the ground, stuff kind of splits. So 
I'll just start up high and start whittling some of the light stuff off. Um, this is where the grapple on the tractor just really shines. It makes cleanup of this mess so easy. Just knock off big chunks with a saw. And then I'm gonna find a spot probably down here in that food plot area. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and just burn it down there. And I may, this is part two, but if anybody's familiar with, uh, with locust trees, these thorny locusts, these things are nasty, nasty trees. And I might, actually this one is, no, it's not dead. It's not dead, but it's not very healthy. So I hate messing with these trees because they are just, they're dangerous. Dangerous to you, dangerous to tires, dangerous to everything. So I might, uh, while I'm doing this, I might knock that sucker down too and get it thrown in the burn pile. But first we gotta take care of this. I got it. I think I've got a jet clogged in my carb in this little 440, which is frustrating because it's a nice light saw. But I either have to tear into that, see if I can get that working, or I'll just get a bigger saw out, which I'm probably just going to do. So you can see those, some of those are wicked when they're, man, when they're under tension like that. I mean, you get the, you get the actual tree itself that went down, that those branches hang in a, in a precarious position and they get tension on them and they get wicked. But then you, you saw these little ones that got bent over. Those are obviously under a ton of tension too, even though it's been laying here for six or eight months. But anyway, that gets a lot of the clutter off now. I'm going to get the tractor grapple, and I'll start cleaning up a bunch of this stuff. There's, there's some old dead logs laying all over the timber floor too that were not related to this tree going down. So I'll go ahead and get those cleaned up. That way I have a good, easy access to roll around here and, and uh, do what I need to.
pinched in there tight i'll have to get the i'll get the tractor and lift up on that a little bit to get that out but i'm down to firewood so that's good i mean i still have to clean up some junk up there at the top but i tell you what that echo 600 that thing is pound for pound that thing is just a is a cutting machine i love that thing i think the new version is uh i think it's a 590 but that thing really cuts well so I got the tractor, I get the saw unstuck. It's getting really hot. I think I'm about ready to call it a day. Maybe I'll pick up some of these logs, set them aside to be bucked up and split later, but pretty good start. I'm back working on the oak tree again this morning the other day when i was out here <clears throat> after i turned the camera off i i basically cleaned up all the all the trash all the brush off of the uh top of the tree we got a pretty good pile going down there that i'll get burned pretty soon oh, there goes a the deer you can see her running through the timber up there it's gonna be a great food plot down here can't wait to build that Stay tuned for the video on the food plot build. But anyway, so got this pretty well cleaned out the best I can. I'm gonna get the saw fired up again. Get the rest of the stuff cut up into logs. Um, I started kind of bucking it up the other day, but I'm I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm just gonna take, you know, probably six or eight foot logs and I'll bring those up. I've got a big pile of uh, wood up there that I need to split at some point in time, so I'll just take it up in big chunks and then. I'll work on, I've got, you can see these poor trees, that one, that one, this one that got smashed or partially smashed when that, when the oak came down. So I'll get those cleaned out of there too. And, uh, 
I got some other kind of general cleanup stuff. I already started working on some of this, but there's a tree that's been down for a long time and just some other miscellaneous logs and, and uh, debris that's laying around here in the timber. Get that up out of the way so it'll make it easier for me to um, work on that food plot and just, you know, there's no reason to leave that stuff laying on the timber floor. So the bugs are bad today, so that's great. But let's get to work.
check out this bug. All my life I've never seen that particular bug before. Does anybody know what that thing is? It's pretty cool. All right, so this is the end of the line for right now. This thing's in obviously a precarious position. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this thing. I actually thought about flattening the top, making myself a nice little bridge to walk across, but Probably not gonna do that, it's a long ways up in the air. So, for now, I'm just gonna let that thing sit. Eventually, it'll probably cave in. This hole, I should've probably cut it back a little further, actually, because this whole shoreline here is kinda, not really shoreline, but as you can see, this is all caving in here. So eventually, this thing's gonna probably end up in the bottom of the ravine. I guess if it does, then I can go down and cut it up. But for now, this is good enough. I'll get this stuff cleaned up. I gotta knock off my kind of straggly trees yet, and I'll be ready to burn. All right guys, so I got a pretty good pile of firewood here. That's just an addition to my stuff. This is all ready to be split. And then I've got over there, I've got about this much again. So I've got a lot of firewood. Down here, I've got it cleaned up pretty well. I've got to, you know, before I do food plot, obviously I've got to do a lot more. I've got to decide, I'm tempted to take down some more of these little trees. I hate to take down trees though. Um, right now we get some pretty good sunlight. Got to figure out what to do with these stumps. I just left them long. I didn't want to take them off the ground right now because if I drag or disc or something, I don't want to hit them. So 
I've got a lot of wood here. That thing is probably where I was cutting on the end. That 24 inch bar wasn't quite long enough to get all the way through that log. So, you know, I'm guessing down there it's probably, you know, upwards of 30 inches and it's pretty good, uh, pretty good piece of wood there. But I've got a little bit of a dilemma. My slash pile over here ended up being a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. And I just was planning to burn it here in this clearing. But the problem is up here about, oh, it's 50 feet probably to those dead limbs. I really don't want to have a fire here and, and catch limbs in the canopy on fire. I've done it a few times and I don't like it. So my what I've done before back here, and I think I'm going to do it again this time, is I'm going to go ahead and I really wish I would have taken that pile and put it here instead. But this is where I've burned before. There's not really any trees in this area to burn. You know, that, that ravine from where I'm standing is probably... Um, I'm going to say it's probably down at least 10 feet, so it's a pretty good hole. So if I push everything in there, then I won't catch the canopy on fire. So I'm going to have to work on that before I light this baby. I thought about just pushing it in here, but there's a lot more trees in this area. And again, I don't want to just, I don't want to have a Roman candle tree on fire here going up. So I guess I'm going to take the time and transfer everything over here and push it down into the hole. It won't be that big of a deal. And It'll be a much safer way to burn it, so I guess I'll do that now.
that's much better. That hole swallows up that big slash pile like nothing. Don't know if I'll be able to get this to light. There's a lot of dead stuff in here, but. I don't have any really good kindling material. Diesel always helps though. Yeah, I think that's gonna hold a flame. Well guys, I think that's it for today. I appreciate you watching. Do me a big favor and uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe so you're notified of future videos coming out and we'll see you in the next one.